Hi friends and welcome back. My name is Chrissy and this is A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. So today's video is going to be on our solar system shelf work, specifically the planets of the solar system and astronauts. I really can't brag enough about these sticker activity books by Nat Geo Kids. This one on space begins with an overview of our solar system, the constellations, the sun, the moon. Then there are pages for each of the planets in the solar system, astronauts, and even on the International Space Station. The information in this activity book is just enough for my early learners. Fun activities like mazes, coloring, puzzles, drawing prompts, and of course shadow matching with the stickers provided. But my favorite thing about this series of books is that there is a balance of fiction and nonfiction. The base of this entire solar system unit has been the good and the beautiful, the wonders of the universe. I mentioned in my previous video that I like to go through the table of contents and I've marked off a lesson for each planet. These are the planet booklets provided in this curriculum. I just made them into one big book. The summaries are informative and the illustrations are beautiful. A prompted activity with each planet lesson is to make planet fact cards and then to place them in this envelope. All the information you'll need to complete the fact cards are found in the planet booklets. For copy work and a watercolor lesson, we made planet cards. Bella did such a wonderful job with these. Here you can see my work and hers. For an older child, you can have them write down planet facts on the back of each card. I saw this project on Pepper and Pine and I immediately knew that I wanted to recreate it. Also included in the Good and the Beautiful Science curriculum are planet cards. We use these just about every day, several times a day, paired with the solar system set of planet marbles made by Safari LTD. My toddler enjoys a simple object to picture match, and a variation for the oldest two is sequencing the cards in the planet's ordinal position from the sun. I was inspired by this The Good and the Beautiful Solar System vocabulary card to recreate the solar system. I did this with a piece of wood from the craft store, black acrylic paint, and pencil. This is a wonderful hands-on activity for planet sequencing work. We are also using our marbles for a visual representation and discussion on the orbit of the planets around the sun. This is a pie baking tin and in the middle I taped construction paper as our sun. We also used this book from the target bullseye to research how long the orbit of each planet takes. The planets closest to the sun of course orbit the fastest and well this was just lots of fun. This is also a wonderful opportunity to discuss our planet Earth's orbit around the sun, how one orbit represents one year, and pointing out each season through the year. A sensory basket made with black beans, Safari LTD space tubes. I always include something for scooping or pouring, and we also like to use these with our story stones. Planet edition and clip it cards. For younger children, I suggest pairing with a manipulative as a visual on number quantity. The clothespins also work well as a fine motor tool and for fine motor practice.
parts of a space shuttle orbiter poster and labeling. My children enjoy labeling work, but I do have an early reader, so this activity does require my assistance. Space Shuttle 3 Part Cards. This is a wonderful freebie resource, so make sure to check for the link down below. Part 1 is the image with the name as well. Part 2 is the card with the isolated image. And then part 3 is the little card, the smallest card, with just the name alone. I have my kindergartner match all three parts. For my younger children, I have them match part one and part two, or just the image to image. This rocket pattern block mat and pattern pieces are from the Good and the Beautiful Math K activity box. I pulled it out to use because it matches perfectly with our theme. Another poster and labeling activity. This is labeling the parts of a spacesuit. A drawing and coloring tray, a few coloring pages and worksheets I downloaded from the NASA website, and a how to draw an astronaut and space rocket. A freebie printable making patterns with planets. One is the cheat sheet or the guide sheet. For an early learner, it might be easiest to place the cheat sheet up top and included in the download are also the small pieces to go ahead and complete the pattern. This is a subscriber freebie and I'll leave the blog link down below. So in the printable, there are the number digit cards, the uh, number ordinal indicator cards, and then there are also several mathematical symbol cards and we've only pulled out the less than or greater than cards. So what I do is I have Bella pick out two of the number digit cards and then I read out loud the ordinal indicator. So I will say 16th and she is to match the respective um, ordinal indicator to the number digit and the same with 19th. And lastly, she's going to figure out um, which is greater or less than. The tray I've also provided are gemstones to use if needed as manipulatives for number quantity. Planet names tracing strips. I normally place these into a binder ring, but as I was getting ready to do so, Bella began to sequence them in their ordinal position. Had a wonderful time working together on this Melissa and Doug Voyager wooden puzzle. And finally, our last tray. This is a mission to the moon math game. I've paired it with dice and you can also use number flashcards. As our game pieces, we're using the space tubes from our Safari LTD. For a younger child, so for my preschooler, I do use the larger die. This one is from Dollar Tree, perfect for one-to-one -one correspondence as he's able to actually touch the dots since they're significantly larger than the traditional die.
five Neptunes plus five Venus equals how many planets? Can you count them all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That's right. Equals. Equals. Now count them all together. Twelve. Twelve. That's right. So today we're working on Earth and Mars. So Bella is working on her Mars planet fact cards and she already did Earth today as well. And we've done Venus and Neptune. No, I'm sorry, Venus and Mars. This booklet is from The Good and the Beautiful as well. And so it's a booklet on Earth and Mars. So we read this today. We're also working on, in a minute, sweetheart, we're also working on sequencing the planets with our cards and marbles and uh, discussing about the orbit of each planet. So some the planets closer to the sun orbit faster and the planets furthest from the sun orbit slower. Uh, Bella already did this Nat Geo Super Space book and she did Mars today. Just a few. And this book here is from the Target uh, Bullseye Spot. I've had this for a while. And after so Mars is Jupiter, that's right. Jupiter is the biggest moon. And he has gas on it. Gas on it. does have gas on it. And then after Jupiter is Saturn, that's right. <laughs> oh, Jupiter. I got you. So Jupiter, uh, I'm sorry, Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun, right? Wow, I yeah. just want, that's my favorite. Hey, Mama, what's your favorite planet? I like Earth because we live on Earth. And after Saturn, the seventh oh, planet. Oh, which one do I like on, on Earth? Which is your favorite on, planet? My favorite planet is Earth 2. Earth? My Earth favorite, is a beautiful planet. I'm, my favorite planet is up to Earth. Yeah, he's a beautiful planet. Mm, it is. Bella, how many planets are in our solar system? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody can eight understand. Eight planets in our solar system. I know what? What is the first planet in the solar system? Mercury. Mercury. And the second planet in the solar system is? Is, which planet is it? It begins with the V. Venus. Right. And what about the third planet in the solar system, which is the planet that we live on? Earth. Earth. And then after Earth, the fourth planet is? Earth. It has a lot of dust on it and vol dormant volcanoes. Mars. Mars, right. And after Mars, the fifth planet in the solar system is? Mm -hmm. It's the largest planet and it has a big storm in it. Jupiter. Jupiter. And then what planet is after Jupiter, the sixth planet? Oh, what is it? <laughs> it has rings around it. Saturn. Saturn. And then after Saturn is the coldest one. The coldest planet. And what is that? Uranus. Uranus, right. And the last planet in the solar system is? Neptune. Neptune. Mm -hmm.